playing with no movement whatsoever for an entire solo tourney on west servers where i have 60 to 70 ping this means no spideys no launches no peppers nothing just my good old footsies the goal of this video is to get top 100 in this tournament and it's gonna be tough because everyone else is gonna be using spideys except for me Throughout this video, I'll throw out random tips here and there so that you can learn, but for the most part, this is going to be a highlights video. First game here was just, you know, a key game. This is a skin tournament, so everybody's trying to W key as fast as possible so they can get ahead of the leaderboard. But later on, we got some stack games. Real quick, before I shut up, let me tell you why I chose to do this challenge. By practicing without movement, you have to analyze your rotates so much more. And if you slack on your rotates, you fall behind a little bit, you're going to get focused by everyone. Because because everybody else in the lobby is gonna have launch pads or spiders and they're just gonna get to the front side of zone and spray back at you. This is really good to practice for those games where you know you get unlucky, you don't find a launch pad, peppers, anything, but it's also good practice just in case they take spideys out of the game soon. If that happens, I'll have some practice under my belt and be a little bit ahead of the meta. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up for now and let you guys watch, but I'll be back with tips in a bit. Just a quick FYI, my face cam froze at the start of this game, but I fixed it later on, so it'll be back for you. Oh, how am I gonna get in here, bro? We're in these mountains. Oh, I could probably go up over that. Yeah, let's just do that now. So the first game here was an eye opener for doing the challenge. Just right here, you can see that I get absolutely fried from the front edge of zone. I was like, dude, this kid below me is definitely a free refresh. I gotta get that. But I got tunnel vision on it, got fried from front edge of zone. So then I was just stuck on back edge of zone with another player. I tried to heal off and storm a little bit. What I should have done, I was so dumb here. I should have kept med misting, but gone behind the builds that were already built by the other player. That could have given me a chance to get into the zone and then I can use my mats from there and probably get a refresh on the way to zone. All in all, you know, first game could have gone worse. We move on to game two, which I can't lie, when I went to take this fight in game two, I completely forgot I was on 70 ping instead of zero ping. And when you're on higher ping, you gotta play a little bit different, which you'll see throughout this video. All good though, game three waits for us, and I'm not gonna lie, this game, we got pushed a lot, but we fought a lot better. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Walk into my trap. So this was one of those games where the zone pulled really, really far. The way I handled it in this zone was trying to use whatever cover I could. That's usually the strategy you want to go with. In this situation, there were builds that I could reuse, but the whole way there, I made sure I was just ready to block my angles at all times. Oh. Also, sliding down hills is going to be your best friend, especially since you can keep sliding while building around you.
we did a lot of stuff right that game and we're definitely getting more used to playing without movement. You know, trying to stay ahead of zone, looking for refreshes on the way, sliding down the hills. We did really well, but this is where it really gets taken to another level. These next two games are absolute pop-offs. That kid got worked, but I still almost lost. Crazy. Stay ahead. Gotta reload. I'm not hitting my shots, bro. Hey, look at that, top 50, bro, no way. So game four was absolutely amazing. I can't believe I choked it though, dude, my aim. I will say though, my aim has been getting so much better. It's been my biggest weakness for the longest time. I've been practicing it like crazy. We're definitely getting there, but I kind of tossed the bag that game. Either way, that set us up super nicely for this next game. We're top 50 and the goal was to get top 100. Let's get it. All right, here we go, here we go. Mm, bad pull, bad pull. Let's just send it. I gotta get there as fast as possible before everyone else. He doesn't know. He doesn't know I left. We got like center enough, center enough. Blue mark was ideal, but there's a lot of people in already. Dude, look how free the spider is, man. He's just going straight to center. No, nobody even shot at him. This guy's a menace. That's a far pull. Holy, how are we gonna do this? Probably try to stick on this side. Oh, I'm dead. We made it, bro. Kind of shames on Mads, though.
God tier refresh. Let's go. Another one. Big refresh there. That's still blue. Pulls far. in like top five dude third place and we're doing a challenge all right i know what you're thinking bro dang this man just really got that excited over a skin cup all right all right yeah but this is one of my first challenge videos i've ever done i've only ever done the solo duo challenge back in the day that's like really the only other one i did and to be popping off this much on a different server than what i'm usually playing on pretty big w i'd say just an FYI, for half and half zones like this, I try to use the mountain as cover so that people on the mountain can't see me. The whole goal of these rotates is trying to avoid giving people line of sight on me. If nobody can see you while you're rotating or they have no way of shooting you like through a mountain, you're gonna be absolutely chilling. And right here on the rotate, zone pulls all the way across the map. I thought I saw an opportunity to get around these builds and then slide down the hill for the rest of the rotate, but right as I got up against this dude's metal builds, I was planning to go around it, but height started spraying at me. And then the dude in front of me started spraying at me too. And then it literally spiraled to where the whole lobby was shooting at me. I had to overbuild like crazy here because if I got shot like two more times, I was dead. And these guns shoot like 10 shots per second. So I was just tunneling until eventually I got to a safe place where I could launch pad. But then I made a big mistake here. When I was landing from the launch pad, I landed on this dude's brick box, which is okay, but I should have instantly jumped up a layer. Instead, I tried to branch out the side, but he went out that same side, which threw me off, and then I got shot in my back. If I would have gone up a layer, made a box, and healed, we could have still made something out of that game. Overall, I messed it up from the very start when I tunneled right into the dude that was boxed up in metal, but it's okay. We move on to the next. This is why you run over every bush you see. See, bro. <laughs> Max pull, dang. In this half and half rotate, I tried to do a lot of sliding and slide canceling to make it harder to hit me, but I also tried to build in places where I predicted I could potentially get shot. Any chance I thought anybody could potentially shoot at me, instantly block it. Because if I get fried once, that could mean my death. It's okay to waste some builds. I ran out of mouse pad space on that first pump, bro. Going into the last game here, if I got a dub, I could literally be top five in this tourney. The goal at the start of the tourney was to get top 100. So no matter what happens here, this was a major success.
I'm stuck. I can't. I just can't move, bro. I couldn't move there, bro. Oh, I thought that was a good play because they were all fighting there. That's just unfortunate that I couldn't walk there. I just kept sliding down. Rough couple last games, but bro, 28th place. Goal was top 100. We'll take it. Don't forget to like and sub if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.